a solar panel, wireless charging features, a fit lock system, all of this on a backpack? Well, today is going to be an exciting episode because we are going to be introducing the Bobby Tech Backpack by XD Design right after this. guys this is Jin from Ori Bags and on this channel we are all about coming up with product videos and tips to help you carry better so if this is your first time watching please consider subscribing I think everyone is familiar with the Bobby range of anti-theft backpacks they were one of the most successful backpacks on Kickstarter when they launched in 2016 and since then they've launched many new other variations of the Bobby backpack and the latest is these two the Bobby Pro backpack and the Bobby Tech. Today, we are going to be focusing only on the Bobby Tech. If you want to learn more about the Bobby Pro, then please look out for the link, the video link in my description box below. Now, one of the most obvious things you will notice about the Bobby Tech is, of course, the front panel. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a solar panel. How cool is that? I'll get into that shortly, but I just want to take you through the design first. Now, if you look around the bag, overall, you will pretty much recognize the original iconic Bobby design. It still has a very clean and sleek profile. It still has that signature anti-theft um, zipper feature. Now, let me give you some measurements. The height of this backpack is about 41 centimeters and it's about 30 centimeters across. It has a depth of about 16.5 centimeters and weighs in at about 1,300 grams. Now, if you would like more detailed measurements, I've included a link below which will take you directly to the product page for more information. Now, the front panel and the sides of the bag are made with eco-friendly, cut-proof material. On top of that, the material is also water repellent and waterproof at the same time because it needs to protect that solar panel. Now, let's take a look at the back. Now, the shoulder straps are pretty standard, good enough for carry comfort and for male or female users. There's also a top handle here and these little uh, lines over here are actually reflectors on your shoulder straps. There's also an RFID hidden pocket here, great for your travel cards or even a credit card. And over on this side of the shoulder strap, you'll notice a little button over here. Now this nifty little thing here is called a fitlock system. The fitlock system enables you to hang a phone, coffee mug, or even a bottle onto your shoulder strap. And the best part is both of these holders are included. So here I have the phone holder for the FitLock system. Now, I don't want you to get too excited over it yet because this phone holder is really for smaller phones. I'm using an iPhone XR and honestly, it doesn't fit at all. It's, it's literally sticking out like that. Well, technically you can still use it, but it doesn't look really nice at all. But let me just show you how this works. So basically, this, is, um, this works via a magnet uh, system. So you just need to pop it in and there's a Velcro strap here. So just stick the Velcro together and there you go. So you wanna release it, just get it off the Velcro and pop it up. This little strap over here, you can actually strap like for example, a water bottle, or let's just say I've got my Gorilla Pod here. Which, so I've got it strapped in nicely over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook it up. So this is how it works when you walk around with a fitlock system, all right? So when you release it, simple, it's the same method. Next, compartments, compartments. How many compartments are there? This is probably every bag enthusiast and every bag traditionalist's favorite topic. Okay, so let's start at the back here. All right, so first and foremost, um, I just wanna show you the two RFID hidden pockets. Now, you already saw the first one, which is this um, little hidden pocket over here on the shoulder straps itself. So that's one. And the other one is over here. So this little back pocket over here, 
Oh, it's also RFID protected and it is really great for your passport. You can even put your wallet at the back here. All right. So next, this thing over here, I'm sure you all know, is a luggage strap. And there is also another pocket over here. So if you open up this little zipper, this is great for a notebook or if you're going on a business trip, you want to bring a book to read or your Kindle, it can fit in beautifully just right here. Moving along, I'm going to take you straight to the pièce de résistance of compartments. So let's open this baby up and show you what's inside. Alright, so before I open up, you'll notice that the zipper design is in its uh, original bobby design. So this hidden zipper section over here is actually an anti-theft feature. And the zippers over here has a, it has a loop or a hoop here. You can actually put a lock through it, especially when you're traveling. So now when you open this bag up, you'll notice that there's a, what do you call this, an attachment over here so that you can keep your backpack like, you know, in this position, this opening. But if you want to open it all the way through, it's very simple. All you need to do is just unfasten this section over here, which is um, held together by a Velcro and buttons. So now let's take you through this section over here, which is the tech compartment. Now, there's, it's a pretty standard offering. There's a padded compartment for a 15.6 inch laptop. Then there is also a padded compartment for your iPad or your tablet. Then we've got two pockets over here and two mesh compartments over here that's great for your other tech organization. There's also two stationary loops over here. Let me just put it in just to show you guys. Yep, we've got two pen loops over here. And I think this pretty much covers everything you really need in terms of standard tech organization in a laptop bag. All right, now over on this side, we have this um, section over here that's closed up with a, what do you call this, a middle layer. So when you unzip it, it reveals another space, all right? Now this middle layer is really, really handy, especially if you want to protect uh, your gear or if you let's just say if you're traveling you got clothing or shoes over here you want to keep the space separate so this middle layer is really great but let's just say if you don't need it or you don't really want to use it you can actually just roll it up tuck it away inside this little um, compartment over here and just button it up and it's it's like it's not even there <laughs> all right now one of the highlights of this main compartment is the adjustable dividers provided over here. And these are so awesome for organization and to suit whatever your lifestyle. Now that I've covered the easy part, it's time to take a look at those amazing, innovative features that I promised earlier. But first, I want to draw your attention to these tech components. The first one is this baby right here. This is the triangle USB port. Then we have three sets of cables, three, and we have this solar panel voltage regulator and hidden away in this pocket over here, you'll find a wireless charging pad. All right, so let's touch on the triangle USB port first. Now, what the guys at XD has done is to provide you with both a standard USB and USB Type-C port. So I'm just gonna show you, it comes in a little flap over here. Okay, so this is the USB port, and over here is the USB Type-C. Now, moving forward, the market standard is going to be the USB Type-C. So basically, what the guys at XD has done for us is to equip us for the future. Moving along, this USB port over here is connected to these cables. So you have cable A. Now, each of these cables have been labeled, yeah? So this is cable A. This is cable B. Oh, let me just explain to you. Cable A is connected to the triangle USB port. Cable B is connected for wireless charging. And you have cable C, which is for the solar panel. Now, my advice is to not lose 
any of these tags here for easy reference. Now this is the solar panel voltage regulator. I know, it's a mouthful. The solar panel voltage regulator and it provides up to 5 volts of energy. Now with this panel right here, you can actually charge your mobile phone or your power bank. And according to XD, this solar panel over here will be able to charge your phone to full capacity in about three and a half hours. Next on the list is the wireless charging pad. Now this section over here, this zipper over here is actually located on the outside of the bag. So when you open this up, you will notice a compartment space and there's also a Velcro strap here. Now when you release the Velcro strap, you will notice another two more compartments. So there's a smaller compartment and a tiny little pocket over here. This tiny little pocket houses the wireless charging pad, which is connected to a USB type C port. Okay, now the reason for these two other compartments is basically for your phones. I know we all have different size phones, so what the guys at XD has done is to provide you two different pocket sizes to fit whatever phone size that you have. So like for example, right now I'm using a um, larger iPhone, so when you slot it in, it's really a snug fit. This is an iPhone XS Max, so if you look at it, it's a really tight fit. Now the way to power up this charging pad is of course by using your power bank or you can connect directly with your solar panel. So you need to make sure that you are looking for cable B. That's why the tags are really important. So cable B is for the wireless charger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it up to my power bank over here. Just make sure it's on. And I'm just going to whip out the um, wireless charging pad just to show you that there is a little light here. I really appreciate that they included this little light here. Otherwise, you'll just have to guess whether it's even on or not, right? So I'm just gonna put my phone here. And there you go, it's charging. If, let's just say, you don't have a power bank, so what you can do is just use this wireless charger and hook it up to the USB port uh, on your solar panel. Just hook it up here and place your phone inside the wireless uh, charging pad section and you should be good to go as well. All right, next we're gonna move on to cable A. It's basically plugging in your power bank over here, keeping it in your bag. You can tuck it away in this little mesh pocket right here and just make sure that you have your charging cable. So mine is still on a standard USB, so I'm just gonna use the USB port over here and plug it in and you should be good to go. So just make sure that your power bank is on and yep. Now the other thing about Cable A is that they've also provided you with another charging option which is from the USB Type-C just to make sure that we are all on par with the new market standard and at the same time if you pop this open they have also provided another charging head for you. If you want to charge using cable C, which is from the solar panel itself, it also provides you with a number of options. Earlier, I mentioned that you can charge your phone. You can also charge your power bank directly from the solar panel. So you've got a um, charging port over here, which hooks up directly to your power bank. Now having this solar panel charger over here is such a great option, especially when you have emergencies or when your power bank runs out of juice and you really need a quick charge. So it's great if you're out and about and your bag is constantly exposed to the sun. The energy will vary based on the weather and the amount of sun that your bag has been exposed to. Oh, so one last thing before I forget. Regarding the wireless charging pad. Now the beauty about this charging pad over here is that you can actually release it from the USB Type-C port and if you have a similar USB Type-C cable at home that charges, you can actually just plug it in and even use this pad at home. Whew, and we are finally done! Now I would say that this is one heck of a backpack. It took me so long to get this done. Now I think tech lovers, you are going to love this bag. Um, it still has that classic bobby look like I mentioned earlier but with so many upgrades and so many new innovative features which is probably why this backpack is not cheap. Now it retails at a whopping 999 ringgit, that's almost a thousand ringgit, which is about 240 um, US dollars. And that was the Bobby Tech 
backpack, everybody. I hope I was detailed enough and you found this video really helpful. Now, my question to you after watching this video, what do you think about this bag? How do you find the features and do you think it's worth a thousand ringgit? Now, be sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, if you're interested to get your hands on the Bobby Tag, you can head on over to our website, which is oribags.com or you can just click in the link in the description box below and it'll take you straight to the product page. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us for more product videos and tips on how to carry better. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Now let's take a look at the back, alright? So the shoulder straps here are pretty standard. Oh my god! Stop it!